were talking about the predation. So this predation helps in some ways like it helps in maintaining different populations and it helps in biological control of number of weeds, pests and all. And this predation, in predation we were talking about how the prey populations, food organisms, how do they escape from these predators that we are talking about. So in this type mainly animals escape from predators by camouflage or by being distasteful to predators, they try to escape from predators. But plants which are immobile, so to escape from predators, they develop different types of mechanisms, mainly if you see thorns, these thorns present on the plants, they prevent the feeding of this cattle and all, when thorns are there, they do not feed on these plants. So thorns is an adaptation developed by plants, evolved in plants to escape from predators. And some plants like Calotropis releases some poisonous or some substances, some chemical substances not uh, necessarily poisonous, they are cardiac glycosides. Example, Calotropis plant. This Calotropis plant producing cardiac glycosides, these cardiac glycosides because of the release of them, many of these herbivores, they avoid this plant due to the presence of these chemicals, these leaves and all avoided by the predators. And plants developed many chemicals, those chemicals now we are extracting and we are using for different purposes like caffeine in plant caffia arabica and nicotine, tobacco plant and strychnine, quinine, all these are some of the chemicals plants developed in order to escape from predators, to become repulsive to the predators, they have developed these chemicals, but those chemicals now we are using in uh, some preparation of medicines and used as stimulants and opium if you take which is used as a painkiller. So these are all some of the adaptations we find in the plants to escape from predators. Competition. In Darwin's natural theory of selection, we studied competition between members of same species is very, very severe because they compete for food, space and also for mating purposes. In breeding season for mating purposes also they compete. So that would be very severe type of competition that is intraspecific. If it is intraspecific, that is severe type of competition. Okay, but even if you find unrelated species, they are very much unrelated or distantly, very, very distantly related species also, sometimes they compete with one another. So, competition among unrelated species also we find in nature. Competition among unrelated species. Example, flamingo birds, flamingo birds and fishes living in water 
both of them compete for zooplankton for feeding on zooplankton so this is competition among unrelated species and another thing is competition will be there under unlimited resources interference competition one would be interfering other one suppose two species which are of course unrelated species but one is superior species it feeds faster feeding efficiency is more that we consider as superior species feeding efficiency is more so the superior species it dominates the inferior species so this would be feeding continuously so that inferior species they get left out they are they get exhausted and inferior species they get affected by the feeding efficiency of superior species but unlimited resources if there are unlimited resources major harm or extinction may not takes place totally the inferior species may not get extinct as long as resources are unlimited but it is also observed that some cases when there is limitation in the environmental resources then it leads to extinction of some species totally one species is eliminated by superior species that is called competitive exclusion this was explained by gauss so it is called gauss principle according to this under limited resources limited resources are there because of the limited resources in galapagos islands this abingdon tortoise which is a slow feeding one this is totally dominated it became extinct due to the introduction of goats goats are active herbivorous mammals so they go on grazing on this vegetation and all and this abingdon tortoise became extinct so it has Uh, it it got excluded by the presence of goats they became extinct totally this is called gauss principle competitive exclusion then another phenomenon we found in the nature is competitive release competitive release means one species is if one species is removed that is the superior one is removed other species got escaped from competition they got released from competition that is called competitive release in this case connell's experiments Connell's experiments helped to understand this competitive release. If you take a rock barnacle, Balanus, this is 
a larger barnacle living near the sea coast when other smaller barnacles are there called catalamus smaller barnacles as long as this balanus is present the food will material which is coming from due to wave action and all that is totally taken by balanus mostly if not totally mostly it is taken by balanus and this catalamus were getting only some bits and pieces leftovers of balanus only so in connell's experiments balanus larger barnacle is removed from that place then after some time they found catalamus populations increased increased in numbers their population increased so catalamus is released from this stress released from this competition due to the removal of balanus so that is competitive release another interesting feature observed in nature by macarthur that is coexistence by resource partitioning resource partitioning coexistence this was explained by macarthur he observed there are five species of warbler birds living on oak tree living on a oak tree five different species when they are living on that same tree continuously they were living because of the partitioning some one particular species lives on the trunk bark of the trunk one particular species feeds on inflorescence another species feeds on the leaf buds like that they partitioned the resource and they don't come in into the other's territory they changed their foraging habits due to differences in foraging foraging means feeding differences in methods of foraging they are able to live successfully on the same tree so though there is competition there should be competition among different species but even then they are able to live because of this differences in their foraging activities and differences in their behavior and habitat different places of the oak tree they had occupied so that is called coexistence by resource partitioning or by niche partitioning this is the coexistence explained by macarthur now let us start another type of association that is parasitism in parasitism the organism which is getting benefited is parasite and the organism which is getting harmed is host actually ideal or successful parasites do not kill the host because they know very well that if host dies the life cycle of the parasite also will come to an end then if that is the case 